You know, each Friday here at 6, I enjoy so much bringing you stories about people in our community going above and beyond to make positive change. Well, tonight, I want you to meet an artist who creates beautiful paintings like these, paintings she cannot see. Tracy Betancourt didn't even know she had artistic talent until she lost her eyesight. Well, watch as we learn how she channels her creativity in tonight's Positively Tennessee. We're going to put your canvas in the middle. A small canvas is put into place. Then the blindfold's going to go on the left, and the paint pen will put that over to the side. Supplies are lined up in specific order. Well, here we go. To help me learn what it's like to paint in the dark. The 12 o'clock is your black, 3 o'clock is your red, 6 o'clock is your yellow, and then 9 o'clock will be your white. As I learned where to place my fingers and missed the mark several times, such was not the case for Tracy Betancourt, who discovered her artistic talent after losing her vision. But I lost my eyesight over 14 years ago to an eye disease, retinitis pigmentosa, and I was a single mom when I lost it totally. I actually found um, art by mistake, actually. I was just, you know, I had something, to, I needed something to do with my hands. I told my oldest daughter at the time, I said, you know what, Kayla, I think I need to paint. She goes, you can't paint, you're blind. So we went to the Hobby Lobby and I started, you know, going through paints and I said, well, you know, I can do acrylics or water-based and I can paint with my hands. And I did seven paintings my first day and I just couldn't stop painting ever since. Her creations capture the beauty of nature and to learn her behind the scenes methodology, well, listen to this. Every object has a shape, so I broke it down into shapes, you know, geometric shapes, linear lines. Um, like if I did a cardinal, so I broke it down to circle for the head, oval for the body, rectangle for the tail. She works swiftly with her hands, with fierce determination and focus, tapping so deeply into the senses she has honed after losing her vision, coming up with another beautiful work of art. She can't see it, but takes great joy in sharing it. But I enjoy the process, not, you know, I can't enjoy the visual product because it's a visual thing, so I pass it forward. Okay, there you go. Very cool. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now here are the finished pieces. Um, this one's mine. Look at this. This is Tracy's. You can tell she's been doing this for a while. <laughs> I really enjoyed it, though. And, you know, for each painting bow that she sells, um, she gives one back to the community. Oh, wow. I yeah. think it's amazing. And, and this is really a lesson. And don't let anybody ever tell you there's something you can't do. Exactly. You know, you can definitely can do whatever you want to when you put your mind to it. Yeah. Where can we find her paintings? I know. I thought you might yeah. want to know this. She's based in Clarksville. She actually teaches free workshops to people there through Art Link. Okay. I have links on how to reach her and see more of her. Her work, it's on our website, uh, wate.com, but she is in charge of Betancourt paintings. Ah, I like so, it. So, yeah, check it out. Does an amazing job. Yes. Yours is okay, too, there, Lori. Thank you. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs>